Minority Chief Whip Muntaka and his deputy Ahmed Ibrahim have been discharged from the Konfanochi Teaching Hospital after they were involved in an accident. My colleague William Evans Sinkum brings us some more updates uh, over there I am in relation to that. that. Yesterday around 6 p.m. they were discharged from the Konfanochi Teaching Hospital. They actually walked in with some minor bruises, but the regional secretary uh, Kwame Zhu is here and he will be telling us um, the extent of injury as far as the accident they had at Kubiase is concerned. But I must also tell you that currently they are with the former president who was here last night to take part in the 52nd annual celebration of the birth of Prophet Muhammad. He was here um, with a number of the NDC executives. Of course, the, uh, the vice president also took part of that particular celebration. This morning, the, the former president has visited the Gumba line to also have a first-hand information per the, as, or as far as the fire disaster um, uh, happening in that particular place is concerned. He has also been visiting a number of elders of the NDC in the Ashanti region. Currently, we are at Ahinsan Estate where he's expected to visit one of the elders and then also the Togwe um, for the Votarians here in the Ashanti region, of course, um, the Bono Ahafo region, Togwe Fuga. He'll also be here to visit him. But let me um, ask the regional secretary of the party, Kwame Zhu, to understand this extent of injury as far as the two MPs are concerned. So yesterday we heard that particular news and we, we really understand the atmosphere at Confanoji Teaching Hospital. When we came there, we saw a number of uh, uh, party supporters and some well wishers in a very pensive mood. What was the extent of injury? We can only be thankful to God. It was a minor accident and they have undergone the necessary and requisite medical checks and they have been cleared to be healed and hearty. As we are aware, yesterday, both of them were at the celebration of Moli, the 52nd celebration of the birthday of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. They were both there. They delivered a speech. They accompanied the former president. And subsequently, today, too, he has been very healthy. He has been accompanying the former president around. So we thank God. It was a minor accident, but they came out very well. Mm. Now, the former president also visited the Gumba line to also sympathize with victims there. What has he been telling them? It was a sad scene, actually. The entire livelihoods of the Mindy headquarters has been reached by fire. And uh, the former president took the opportunity to visit them and uh, as it were sympathize and commiserate with them and uh, he has also promised he has made a number of promises to them uh, that such a place uh, the environment uh, has a lot of problems the challenges that are there he will take steps in his next government to as it were assuage their pain and remedy the difficulties they are in so it's been so but it's a very worrying development uh, perennially uh, the area has been witnessing a number of fire outbreaks, so there should be a permanent solution to this particular problem. All right. So, for, um, Wendy, back at the Gomba line, the people there are still counting their losses. I'm not surprised that from Monday we're going to see some attempt to elevate new structures. That has been the tradition as far as fire outbreaks in that particular enclave is concerned. William Evans Sinkum for TV3 News. Ahinsan Estate. Back to you, Wendy.